Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, if you're watching on YouTube. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, Comic Freak. Today I have news about the MCU. Apparently Captain Marvel has gotten back into the funny papers about recent news about an article which basically talks about the worst parts about Avengers Endgame. And unanimously, apparently the worst part is Captain Marvel. I'll get more into this article in a moment, but first remember that African-American character in Captain Marvel. Remember, that character used to play Captain Marvel in the comic books. So we basically missed out on having a black African female Captain Marvel for basically a wooden stick with no butt and no personality. It would, who somehow got a movie. This will relate to the article, What MCU Fans Hated Most About Avengers Endgame. Though Avengers Endgame has come and gone, the recent DVD release has fans revisiting the ultimate conclusion to MCU's epic saga once more, Avengers Endgame was an emotionally impactful joyride infused with walks down memory lane as we travel through the past, humorous fight sequence, and some of the most memorable dialogue and monologues the franchise has ever seen. We finally got to hear Cap utter the words, Avengers is symbol. If that's not some movie magic, I don't know what is. Well, as you see to the beginning of this article, it's just phrasing the movie Endgame. When we get more into the meat of this article, you'll see what this guy's point really is, but right now he's just a shill. And then you'll see my point when I mentioned Maria Rambo earlier, the original African female Captain Marvel. Now, this guy continues on with continuing to praise Avengers Endgame. He also praises Disney Plus, thinking it's going to basically kill all of its rivals. I have my doubts about that. But what proves this guy's a shill when he says Avengers Endgame was a near-perfect film? No, it was a good film, and it was a good ending to the MCU, but not near flawless. Eventually, I think it'll be forgotten, and it'll be... Other MCU movies that are far better will be remembered in its place. But it was a good ending to the MCU. But what the writer did mention in this part of his article is that it seemed to bother more than a stray fan. And that is true. This movie did bother us at points because, as I said, it's not a near flawless film. One of the worst parts of it was the inclusion of Captain Marvel. Many fans were not happy with Captain Marvel's apparently superiority and forced relevance in Avengers Endgame. This is completely true because she just comes in, she looks or tries to look cool, but you get all cringy when you look at her new short haircut because it's the same haircut if you know anything about in the comics that basically just signal an end to any good storytelling that will be in any comic book that has her. Avengers Endgame was the highly anticipated final installment, meaning many fans felt that the original six, the Black Widow, Hawk, Iron Man, Captain America, Hawkeye, and Thor should have been the focal point in the, and the MCU's most celebrated individuals. To an unravening fault, as a result, some MCU enthusiasts argue that Captain Marvel retained too much power and influence. The film's persistence that she was unparalleled in strength it felt forced and out of place. One MCU fan focused on one scene recreation. In his own words, when they recreated the scene with Captain Marvel pushing back the gauntlet, as Cap had tried to do in Infinity War, was just going, this is the new hero and you need to love them. Yes, it is as forced as you can possibly imagine it. Others at Reddit, as the writer said, chimed in. Captain Marvel butted in on the fight over the gauntlet at the end. It was supposed to be a fight between Thanos and the original three, and, and she just comes in and has literally no issue holding him back until he has to use the Power Stone. Thanos could bitch slap Hulk easily and throw Thor around like a child, but it takes the cosmic power of an Infinity Stone to beat Captain Marvel. Really cheapened the other three, making them feel almost useless. And people say fans don't know anything. These sentiments 
are exactly my own sentiments on the fact that Captain Marvel butted into the fight with Thanos. Though I did enjoy when Thanos punched her, but yes, he needed an Infinity Stone to batter her away, even though he had the entire Infinity Gauntlet, and he should have been God and should have easily have beaten her. The ending of the article pretty much says, In short, many fans argued Captain Marvel's powers, due to the excess in which they were illustrated, awarded her too much attention, seizing the spotlight against the other Avengers who had been there from the beginning. But the fans of Captain Marvel, if there are any, saying that with her power, she had to be in the spotlight. Even though this wasn't her movie. This was the swan song of the original Avengers. If you keep on this track, Disney, people who will go see the new MCU movies will be like those people who visit your theme parks, and particularly Disney's Galaxy's Edge. As in, no one. Just keep pushing us, huh? Now, in other news about Captain Marvel 2, apparently there's rumors and about Captain Marvel including Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. Now, this was a foregone conclusion that Miss Marvel would probably be starred or co-starred in a future MCU movie, particularly Captain Marvel 2. But because... Captain Marvel was such a dud, even though it had made a billion dollars, and that's debatable if Disney didn't somehow maybe wonk with the results of how many people actually went and saw Captain Marvel, and also of the proven fact that it was only coasting off of the success of the other more successful and good MCU films. That with Miss Marvel included, that might be the only way to have any kind of character and in-depth personality that people would want to go and see. Miss Marvel in the comic books, for the most part, has been a popular character, except recently. Handled properly, Miss Marvel could probably launch a good MCU franchise that people would want to go see. The article states there are rumors for a Secret Wars movie and the Phase 5 plans, but it does say that there are rumors for her to appear in Captain Marvel 2. Now, there's also been plans by ABC to develop the character since 2015, but Disney and Feige have been weighing their options on using the character. But the thing is, Disney passed recently in January on using a female character for a TV series, but they are looking for another MCU property to replace Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when that series ends. The character does seem to be getting a push as of late, as Miss Marvel looks to be a focus in the upcoming Avengers video game, at least in the opinion of the author here. But it has been reported that Brie Larson would love to bring the character of Kamala Khan into the next Captain Marvel movie. Now, if this is actually her opinion, or if this is just her doing more virtue signaling, I don't really know nor care. Now, regarding Captain Marvel 2, Marvel Studios has yet to officially announce the flick. Hopefully they won't, because they are getting bad press for doing Captain Marvel and The Last Jedi. It would be a boon to the fans if they would just not make those movies. They could just go and do have Miss Marvel appear in the Young Avengers movie. Or Champions, even though... The Champions has basically been a dud, and the Young Avengers movie is a property that's over 10 years old, but they did wonders with Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's around the same period of time. Disney needs to revitalize its brand, and I have my doubts about that, because the MCU is basically done already. At least I really hope so, because I'm getting tired of seeing the MCU basically or rather beginning to be dragged through the mud with all these SJW politics. Now, if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed, please subscribe to me on my YouTube channel, Read Comics, They're Bad For You. Then I want you to go over to BitChute and subscribe to Comic Freak. Also, hit that bell for notifications, hit that like button, and leave some comments down below. Also, could you please share this video on social media, share it on Twitter, and share it on Facebook, because 
YouTube isn't sharing anyone's videos anymore, and it would be a help to me if you could please share this video. Also, keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. I'm Chris Williams, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.